Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for a mid afternoon update for the Thursday's trading session, 27 July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, where do we stand? Uh, overnight, a, a US market certainly uh, powered to new highs in the back of Facebook earnings and PayPal earnings, certainly beating the expectations. Uh, it certainly seems that the NASDAQ has uh, certainly broke to new highs, S&P certainly breaking to new highs as well, the Dow breaking to new highs, so everything's certainly pushing higher uh, with regards to US equities. Asian markets more or less flat, Not certainly not joining in on the uh, the action. Uh, if you uh, look at the Asian market stats, you have the Nikkei up 29, a meager 29 points, 0.1%, the Shanghai 0.06%, so more or less flat, whilst the Hang Seng up 0.7%. So certainly no real conviction in terms of the follow-through in terms of US equity. So again, that's of course for concern, just a isolated case with regards to the uh, situation with regards to the NASDAQ, obviously led by Facebook. Uh, so whether or not that lasts is a different question altogether, so keep an eye on that. In terms of European markets this morning, a certainly mixed bag of results. We have Deutsche Bank certainly trading weaker. We have the likes of Danone, Glencore, Foxtons, Nokia, uh, British American Tobacco, AstraZeneca down almost 20%. Uh, we also have concerns with regards to Bayer, Nestle. So again, some negative earnings. On the other side, we have some strong earnings from Orange, Sky, Volkswagen, Guidance certainly raise as well. Shell, Total, Gilead. Uh, we have... Um, AB InBev, uh, Spanish unemployment certainly dropping, Samsung and Nintendo certainly coming in stronger than a uh, stronger uh, overnight in terms of their earnings as well. So so again, you can argue both ways, okay? Certainly argue both ways. Also, given the fact that the uh, the dollar certainly is pushing higher and forcing euro back down to that 1.17 level, we did have the euro USD spiking up to that 1.1770 overnight. You can see here 1.1780 and now reversing. We are coming into support though. So again, of course, for concern. So that's the status quo. That's where we stand, folks. Okay, that's where we stand in terms of equities. US equities pushing to new highs, but global equities certainly not following at all. We have the German DAX at this current juncture with the German DAX down 50 points to the back of Deutsche Bank, obviously. CAC down, uh, CAC is actually up just about nine points, the FTSE MIB higher as well. So certainly uh, uh, trading sideways, if anything, the FTSE itself was down substantially at one point, uh, down uh, due to AstraZeneca. Uh, falling or gapping lower by 20%, the FTSE hit pivot lower 7, 4, 10 before it reversed, okay? So that's the status quo. That's what we. That's where we stand and that's where the market is currently positioned. Okay, so where do we go from here? That's the question, okay? So let's look at the actual um, market itself. You have CBI data from the UK as well, certainly coming in stronger. So again, let's see where we are. Okay, so German DAX intraday certainly has put in a double bottom. One would expect that gap to close, given the fact that the Nasdaq obviously has pushed to new highs, so bear that in mind. Okay, it's very unlikely for the German DAX to, to remain weak with the, with the with Nasdaq pushing higher. So certainly looking for that German DAX to close that gap at 12.305, that's my first expectation. Okay, on the daily chart, the German DAX, from my perspective, certainly oversold. Certainly looking to potentially pull back up to that 12.500 level. That's my interpretation, especially given the fact that the Nasdaq has broken out. I bring up the chart of the Nasdaq, folks. Where are thou, Nasdaq? Okay, so Nasdaq itself certainly looking to gap higher today. Um, you can see we've broken out of the 59 or 5900 level now, looking up to uh, 6000. So 6000 certainly seems inevitable. We've already hit 5980 odd. Okay, so certainly looks inevitable from my interpretation. So the German DAX certainly needs to play catch up, folks. Okay, and it's certainly lagging at the moment. And that's obviously one due to a stronger euro and two a tapering concerns and, and obviously due to tapering concerns and number three it's uh, due to the uh, the concerns with regards to Deutsche Bank as well today so again certainly dragging on the uh, the actual DAX itself so bear that in mind okay so where do we um, so that's the status quo in terms of the DAX looking at the French CAC at the moment okay looking at the daily chart we've certainly bounced off gap fills as far sorry your double bottoms uh, horizontal support as far we do have unfilled gap below, bear that in mind. We do have a diagonal trend line coming up now as well. Bear in mind you have resistance at 5260 and then you have the unfilled gap above, which is currently seen around the 5300 level now. Given the fact that US equities are broken out higher, bear that in mind, okay? Bear that in mind, okay, in terms of French cap. Looking at the 10-minute chart at the moment, 
certainly has bounced. You are looking at resistance at 5220. Let's see if, uh, how the market responds there. If it breaks through there, you're looking at 5250. Downside, you have support of 5175, and then you have support of 5160. So certainly take those two con into consideration. In terms of the euro stocks, let's just move on to euro stocks now. Again, holding support. If we can break out of this uh, key bearish uh, candle, then you are looking for a short squeeze, which I'm expecting at the moment, up to 5340, and potentially up to uh, five. Uh, sorry, 3530. So again, looking for a potential pop here on the euro stock. 60-minute chart at the moment. You are holding that key diagonal trend line resistance. Certainly expecting us to break out higher. Again, due to the NASDAQ. Okay, NASDAQ new highs should certainly send euro stocks. Again, I'll see an assess situation at 3.510 once we hit the double top and see how the market responds thereafter. Okay, in terms of FTSE 100, like I said, it certainly has been dragged lower by uh, AstraZeneca. It is still holding that key diagonal trend line resistance, but with a weaker dollar, that certainly is helping the uh, the actual commodity related plays, uh, which in turn obviously helps the FTSE. Although the argument against that is that sterling is now currently at 1.1350, 1.3150, which again is risk off. Okay, so uh, so again, a double edged sword there. Okay, 60 minute chart, you can see that we have this uh, potential bottoming tail this morning as well. Pivot lowers at 7410 before we started to reverse. So We've actually took out Fib 75% as well. So let's see where we uh, we move. I mean, we have con potential support down here. That breaks, and obviously you are looking to revisit the uh, the actual pivot low bit again. 10-minute chart certainly seems to be carving out some sort of H&S formation. So again, bear that in mind. You have previous support equals resistance at uh, 7460, 7475, and then 7485, okay? Next support is seen at 7.430. So let's see how the market responds at 7.430. Okay, folks, that's the status quo. Okay, so uh, in terms of the markets at present, it's again, it's the question is, will US markets drag European markets higher or force more European markets higher? Or do European markets continue to lag at, at the lows? My interpretation is that the uh, US markets certainly will force European markets higher uh, and force them uh, and we'll see exactly how the market responds thereafter. Now we have the S&P 500 currently trading at that uh, key resistance at the moment, currently trading at 2480 and 2481. 2481 is your top. If we take out 2481, then obviously the bulls are in charge and your European equities will follow. If we hold 24181, then you are looking for European equities to slide as well as we target the gap below at 2470. So let's see how the market unfolds. We are looking forward to US data. US data should be out in the next uh, 80 minutes or so at half past one, and we'll see how the markets react there. You have uh, Chicago Fed, jobless claims, durable goods, uh, and then you have Kansas Fed manufacturing activity, uh, and we'll see how the market reacts there. Again, it's all about the dollar. Let's see how the dollar reacts. On that note, please be sure to visit CFTs.com for your trading needs, and certainly take advantage of the bonus, and make sure you download TradeSignal, the latest signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.